Hello there, everybody. This is Siwat the Platinum One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. So, last time, I recorded a freaking long video which I decided to split apart, which is basically us going through Elden, getting back our stuff after it was stolen from us, and learning the second part of the Song of the Hero. So, before we go to Lanayru Desert, I want to get this one goddess chest because it's right over there. I marked it in my beacon before I started this recording. Uh, this one, however, I'll be getting to that when we go to Levius for the final part of the Song of the Hero, so... That will come eventually, but in the meantime, let's just go ahead and... KILL YOU! Because you have a red... Ugh. God damn it. I always miss those guys for whatever stupid reason, for whatever stupid thing. Anyway, uh, I do believe this one is where you need is where you need uh, the water dragon scale to get actually. Because oh god damn it! <laughs> I always got a freaking fall, don't I? Got a freaking fall out of the sky. Gotta do a sky fall. Anyway. Uh, get off! Thank you. I do believe this one is, like, the one... Uh... The one that we got, um, near the entrance to the second temple from the Goddess Cube, I think. And it's a treasure medal. Of course. But it was sent to the item check, so, yeah. That's kind of the thing. Anyway, though, it's going to be a long trip to Lanayru Desert from here, so you know what? I'm going to cut ahead, so I'm going to see you guys when I go to that place with the stuff. And simply because it's on the way. F***ing yes. I just want to sit here and listen to this music forever, but I can't because I'm on a stupid, stupid quest to get the song. Uh, oh well. It's pretty much close to where we need to go in order to get to the third dragon guy, so... Yeah. Again, I have to say, I really, really freaking love the music in this place. And it just, it, it, I don't know why, for this particular playthrough, as I'm making this, this, the LP, it just pains me to leave. I mean, look, look, this, I love this place, this is my favorite area, and I love the music. But I just, ugh. Ugh, whatevs. Whatever, whatevs. We gotta leave that Sansi to go to... Ugh. Okay, okay, shut up. Shut up, Charlie. Don't fangasm over that place any more than you have to. Nice timing. Timing! I've been meaning to look for you. Come over here a minute. Okay, so like I've been saying a bajillion times, you want to go here last or second or whatever, because if you didn't download that patch, you're probably going to be stuck here. That game break... That solves that game-breaking problem. Say, have you ever heard that sacred flame you're looking for? Really? You did? Great. I was pretty curious about it, so I'll spell all the details. Or spell all the details. I see. So after all that adventuring, you find that. You fair. I can't talk with the words. You're not the only one. I found out more about the legend of the three dragons. This news is going to blow your mind. This is because we're going to blow your f mind! Okay. There is a narrow path I cannot that I cannot fit through after losing a pound pounds, okay. So my theory is it probably links to the home of the Thunder Dragon, one of the three dragons of the legend. I'm convinced that these robots must have found something to do with it as well. The Thunder Dragon, a bunch of robots, and the Time Ship Stones. What a story! Bro. In fact you could say it's a cool story, bro, but it's not. It's a true story because Remember, kids, if there's a legend in the video game, it's obviously true. And... Pfft, I like how I sit down as it's about to blow. 
Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, wait, wait. I, 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 I ought to talk to the guy after I blew up the thing because, yeah, I was able to dig a tunnel to where the Thunder Dragon lives, but it's too narrow for me to go through. What am I going to do? We'll blow it up with a with a thing. We'll blow it up with a bomb because it. That's obviously the only thing that you need to do. For science. No, it's for magic. But science is my more obvious explanation for anything, really. This is the Lanayru Gorge. Legend tells of a dragon loyal to the goddess living in this area. Yes. So the whole world map is just expanded a little bit bigger, but not really. Signs indicate of an ancient civilization established here to quarry the mind of the high quality things. Consequently, the terrain is blah, subdivided along the regions of the mining equipment such as minecarts and tracks. Sure. So yeah, that's the world map for you. And I have no idea what's up with those with those sudden cuts to black and then spot on up, but apparently it happens normally in the game, so I guess I can excuse it. Anyway, check this just so we won't forget. And let's let's actually put this down before we decide to blow it up, because we need to blow this up so we can get across here. If you look at the door, you'll see that it needs a key, so there's obviously a key somewhere nearby. So anyway, we got this big old pile of skeletons here. That's really odd. And our eyes are glowing! Oh my god. This is a fossil. Signs indicate that it's been here a great many years. For a great many years, of course. A great many years. How does that make sense? How does that how does that whole sentence structure make sense for a great many years? Doesn't it say like wouldn't it be possible to say for many years? Anyway, this rock completely pointless. By the way, you can pick it up, but that's about it. You can just throw it into the abyss like you just don't care. Anyway, as you can see right there, there's a little bit of a thing sparkling right there. So, we ought to use our tough beetle to figure out what it is. And as you can see, my controls are messing up again. That's really great. Because my because playing on this for on the laptop for to win, obviously. Yeah, come on. Come on. There we go. As you can see there, there was a key right there. And that key obviously opens the door. So, yay on that. Hooray! Ooh, ooh, let's see what's in the digging hole. Nothing! Pointless holes, pointless. Anyway, through the double doors! Away! Actually, no, it's not. It's not double doors. It's a single door. Through the single door! Away! Whatever. Anywho, we got a claw shot here and there. And over here, small burp, so we gotta go through here. And ooh. Nah, it's pointless. Pointless things are pointless. Anyway, here's what we gotta do. We basically have to reactivate this time shift stone right here. And talk to this robot. There are a lot of time shift stones here, Resert. Did you get permission from Master Thunder Dragon to come here like we did, Vroom? We're just about to transport this time shift stone to Master Thunder Dragon. Yeah, so this is basically what we have to do. There are many monsters, Vroom. How is he still talking even though he's back in the future? I don't know. Anyway, this is basically what we have to do in order to get the time shift stone to the place there where it's going. We have to go all this way to, to get the time shift stone back to that main area of Lanayru Gorge we were just at. It's basically what we gotta do. And 
If you get a game over, you're gonna have to start over from the beginning. Or, at the very least, if you, like, fall or something. I don't know. I don't know. Could be a game over. I'm not sure what it is, but... It's something. Anyway, we've got Diggle Bubbles right here, and then we get to push the switch right here so we can open the door. So we can continue. And then, since this is an area that's in the future, no gates will be there, but in the past, gates exist, apparently. Now, this is particularly the easiest out of all the Song of the Heroes side quests, because this is pretty straightforward and whatnot, and I wish I was... And I wish it was this this easy with the with all the other dragons, but apparently not. It has to be like, oh, you gotta put some stealth thing to it, or whatever, or... Or, like... Oh yeah, you have to do this, but it's gonna take, it, but it's gonna take like 25 minutes to about an hour to do, which I'm referring to the foreign trial, by the way. Yeah, and that's kind of a thing too. Like, like they ask you like way too much just to do this one thing. Like, like you have to. You have, to, like, you have to activate these three knots in order to go to Lene Remining Facility. Or, or like, you have to find these five pieces of a key to go, to get to, uh, to, uh, the, uh, Earth Temple, even though that's not really that bad. Or, like, you have to go on a fetch quest for Kikwis in order to get to the Skyview Temple, like that, so... Yeah, it's just a matter of, like, backtracking, which... I won't really mind backtracking in video games. It's just that, it's just that if you have to do a lot of backtracking just to do this one thing, then it's not really gonna put my, it's not really gonna put a damper on. It's not really gonna change my opinion of the game or anything. It's just that, it's just that this one particular issue that I have with games actually, like, like Adventure Time 3DS for example, like Adventure Time Hey Ice King, why you steal our garbage? That game. That game, it, although it is, f although it's short, it's rather fun and everything, and I really like it and all. But, but the backtracking that you have to do just to do, just to get to like a dungeon or something, or to get all these items just to go to a different part of the game, it's just, ugh. I don't know. It's my preference with, with these sort of things. To it, like, there's this one part in the game where you, where you have to like get a new ability or something, so... Well, the first time playing through, you won't know what you're supposed to do. So you, like, go all around Ooh, and, like, and, like, search everywhere for this one thing. I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm trying to think... I'm trying to think of that one part. Because at this point, I already played through the game, like, three times, and it hasn't even been out for about a month at the time of this recording. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The point is that they shouldn't have you backtracking that much in in a game. Well, I would accept it if it was like a good Zelda game like this one because I mean, once you figure out what to do, it's not really that bad, but that's just my thing with it. And it's kind of the reason why I don't like the first why I don't like the first Metroid game out of out of all of them. Well, even though I don't play Metroid games in general, but I like the but I still like the series though. But it's just Metroid Metroid One is just backtracking to hell, and it's very easy to get lost too. Yeah. So that's kind of like my opinion on that, really. Yeah. Even though my commentary probably did not make any sense just then. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway. More techno blends and we gotta swing on this thing until the thing reaches the thing. So we gotta swing. There we go. More Deku Babas I could easily take care of and I don't even need that ancient flower anymore. Ancient flowers are pointless even though I've been looking around for them for the past like... No, I haven't been looking around. Get out your sword, man. Ow. Yeah. So, yeah, my point is that they ask you too much to do something, and that's that. Hmm. 
anyway, uh, now for this particular part, um, this part can kind of get nerve-wracking because you have to be fast enough. So basically what you need to do is when the aura at the time shift stone is just about there, ow, oh god damn it, ow, well at least, okay, okay, so when you fall they reset, the area resets to back to that point, so that's, so that's good, at least you don't have to start all the way over. Yeah, that only happens if you get a game over. So yeah. Anyway. Um, what else could I talk about? Because there's really not much to say. This is all we're doing. This is all we're really doing. I don't want to have to go through another rant where I like... Where I say, I like something and nobody else doesn't. Because <laughs> Lord knows that people will like that rant. Because at this point, it's like one day... Because at this time, it's like... This is like, uh... This is like, um... Like, the day before, um... The... Faron trial with a rant video gets put up. And... I'm not sure if... I'm not sure at this point if people will like my rant about... About when I like some... Whenever I like something that... I, that nobody else does, or... Anything. Hmm. Anyway, this room can get kind of annoying too, so basically you have to like push these beams right there. You basically have to defend against all sorts of enemies right here. Including this central including this whatever it is. <laughs> I forget the names of the enemies already. You can tell I'm out of practice in terms of enemy enemy names. And bada boom, I said bada boom. Yeah. Oh, I can pretty much tell you one other thing I kind of, kind of, sort of don't like. Wow, he died instantly. That's like an instant death. Um, I guess I could say one other thing I kind of, sort of don't like about this game is, is, well, the fact that there's only these, like, four areas, like the sky, like the sky, uh, the desert, the volcano, or the wherever, and wow, I whooped on that ruby, that's kind of nice. Actually, let me target this thing before I continue on with the words. Yeah, that's the... Anyway, I don't like how there's only, like, four main areas. Like, you got the sky, you got the desert, you got the volcano, you got the woods. And that's really all about it of this game. I mean, I like small games when it's, like, easy to 100% and everything. But if you're liking a game like Zelda, especially this one one of its magnitude, like this one, because this is the freaking, like, 25th anniversary game, and you, like, making, like, make areas this small. It's like, it's like, a. I wouldn't really say it's like a nitpick of mine, because I'm not really complaining. I mean, this is still my favorite Zelda game ever, but I just wish they added, like, another region, or at least another area, or something like, an ice world, yeah. There's not going to be any ice worlds in, like, any places with ice in them, and that's kind of a staple of the series, actually, which, which is uh, ice areas. And not that I'm complaining or anything, because ice, ice areas are generally things that nobody likes in a Zelda game. But hey, I don't know. It's just a little bit of a nitpick of mine. And if you like that, there's only like four areas. Well, more power to you. Seriously. Hmm. I don't know. That's literally all we do. Just go and take this minecart right there to the center of the thing. And thus... The area is now in the past. Holy crap, that's a dragon. <laughs> yeah, totally. It's totally a dragon. In fact, I would have to say my th the Thunder Dragon is probably my favorite dragon of the bunch, actually. Yeah. Well, you'll see why. You'll see why later. We got permission from our master, the Thunder Dragon, to get to for time ship stones, Vreep. But Master Thunder Dragon is very ill right now, Berserk. I'm worried about him, Vroom. At this rate, our master may cease functioning. 
Well, we gotta go talk to him to see if he's alright. So, if I can target him and speak to him, that would be really wonderful, actually. <laughs> cough! Cough! Oh, hello. I haven't had a visitor like you in here since, well, quite a while. You're human, aren't you? You must have some reason for coming this far. What is it? I see. So you're Charlie from the sky. Cough. I'm not gonna do the coffee noise because it's late at night. That's not much of a name, is it? Yeah, it is. It's very famous on the internet, I'll tell you. May I add a model, model number to your name like my friends got? Maybe... One... To whatever it is because I can't read dark red text? Oh, I can tell you if you don't like the sound of that. That's a shame. <laughs> so what can I do for you? Oh, you say you need me to teach you a song? Cough. <laughs> Hold on now, didn't you just say you came from the sky, Charlie? So then you're the hero chosen by the goddess, aren't you? By the goddess, aren't you? I see. Well, that is something. Although I must apologize. You see, I really can't help you. I may have enough strength for a brief chat like this, but... Well, as you can see, I'm quite ill. I'm in no shape to sing. And to think that it was the goddess herself who entrusted me to this important duty, I feel the deepest shame. Well... Can't do anything about that now, but... Actually, I could fit this in. Why the hell not? I could actually fit this in. Or rather, if we could just talk to him. We want a Master Thunder Dragon to get well, so we planted a seedling from the Tree of Life. No, it's not that Tree of Life you're thinking from Disney World. Which bears a fruit that can cure any illness, room. Hmm. Tree of Life, you say. Well, unfortunately, the radius of the past thingamabob isn't long enough to reach that. So that kind of sucks. And I spy with my little eye a goddess cube right there. But I say we save the whole Tree of Life thing for next time, because I love to leave you on cliffhangers like that, because I really am that smart. And it's late and I am probably going to shut down my computer after this, so yeah. So anyway, next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we are going to check out that Tree of Life. So I shall see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.